Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey readings. And we'll begin. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what messages comes in. Ooh, I feel like there is a divine masculine here. His energy is like um he, he his energy is quite strong. Like he is determined. This is a divine masculine who's determined. Like he is in that uh, mood where he's really um excited. Uh I feel like he may be singing. Uh, this is somebody who knows what he wants and he's going for it. I see here that he's already done his thinking. <laughs> it's like, I've already thought about it. I keep thinking about it, thinking about it. I'm tired of thinking about it. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go for it. Uh, this is a masculine who has been really thinking about his connection with Divine Feminine. He's already went within. He's cleared out the past. There's Whatever karmic cycle that he was in, karmic lesson that he was in, um, his heart chakra being blocked, that's all cleared out now. Uh, in this reading, it's just showing here that he plans to start anew. He's cleared out a lot of the old. He's let go of the old. Um, his feelings for Divine Feminine is really strong in this reading. He wants to come with a very solid uh, offer, a proposal. I see here um, it could be... Um, like for marriage, like an engagement ring, something like that. It's a very big offer, a strong offer that will take your connection relationship to the next level. Um, I see here he wants a new beginning. He sees very clear, clearly now. He knows what he wants. He knows who he wants. <laughs> um, I see here that he's a little bit um, nervous. Uh, he's nervous about, and he will come across as somebody who's tough, but he is He's very sensitive. Um, I see him being very nervous about when he comes towards Divine Feminine, what will Divine Feminine say or do? Um, I see here that he's worried um, Divine Feminine's decision will not be something that, um, like he's basically he's worried you will say no. Like that's what I see here. He's worried that when, it's like he's leaving it, that decision up to you to make and he's just worried to hear what you have to say. <laughs> It's like um, he's ready with with proposing. He wants to propose, but he hesitates because he's not sure about what the answer will be. And from his end, he's really excited. He really wants to be with you. Um, he has very, um, it says here, like good intentions, clear intentions. Um, in this reading, I can see something about um, very pure, like his he doesn't have like really, um, I feel like he doesn't have anything else on his mind. It's just one thing, like to be with you, to propose to you, to make it final. And he doesn't want to delay anything further. Showing here that he is tired of being alone. He's tired of being away from you. He's tired of you two not being together. It's been very exhausting for him. Being in separation was a burden for him. He knows that no matter what, he is always drawn back to you. He feels connected to you. He wants a wish fulfillment with you. He wants to clear out anything of the past that may um, may interfere in any way. Uh, memories of the past, things he may have said, he knows he cannot take back, but he feels like he wants to make it up to you by um, making things happen for you so it's like I know I can't take back what I said I know I can not take back what I did but let me show you let me prove to you it's like let me do things for you that's what is showing here it's like he wants to prove his love for you that he, he is showing you that he wants to um he wants to be a comfort like a a protection for you it's showing comfort protector uh he wants to well, he wants to do a lot of things here. <laughs> this reading is like all about, oh, sorry. Wow, I almost knocked that one down. <laughs> it's showing here that, oh, maybe it's the masculine. It's like, I can't stand still. I'm just like, 
moving here and there, hitting things, knocking things over. <laughs> I feel like this masculine, he's like, uh, I just want to get things going. I don't want to delay anything. And I feel like he knows what he wants. It's like, why should I wait? He's just a little bit nervous about what your reaction is going to be. Have you moved on? Will you say no? What is your response? Will you? Do you still have the same feelings for me? I'm, I feel like he's asking that. Do you still feel the same way for me? I see Divine Feminine in this reading. Divine Feminine, uh, you are protected. Um, the memories of the past, uh, now you focus on the positive memories of the past. You don't think about what has happened. It's more like you think about the times you two shared. Uh, good things. Uh, I feel and what I see here is that uh, Divine Feminine, you will be looking very carefully at um, how restoring this connection, what it looks like, what it will look like, not only to you both, but overall, like how will your future look like? How will other others um, be a part of your your um, future together? I feel like it, it has nothing to do with your decision. It's more like, what will it look like? Like when we are together, what will, uh, how will our family react or how will we be together as a couple? How will we grow as a family, that kind of thing. You're going to look at the overall picture. It's kind of like try to picture your future, what your future self would say to you or what your future would look like um, if you two come into union. You're very protective over your masculine though. It shows you have a lot of love and protection for your masculine in this reading. Oh, I I see. It has to do with like if somebody... um. Somebody were to say something about you two reconnecting, you will protect um, your connection. Like you'll stand up for you two. I feel like some may say something when you two come into union and you are willing to, to stand up for the connection. You stand very strong. You're standing for your happiness. You know that Divine Masculine is coming with good intentions. I see here that There are some things that the Divine Masculine um, may try to not face, but you will show you will show your masculine how much you you care for them and you will also share with them something about like it's it's kind of like you are you are going to express your love to masculine to say that I love you so much that I have the strength to hear what you need to say. Even if it doesn't sound good, like I'm here, I'm standing here and I'm not budging. That's what it feels like. Masculine might have a little bit of a fear about, um, about expressing his feelings about the past, about um, your separation and what took place, but you are going to kind of like um, let him know that you are you are there for him. You are standing by his side. Up ahead, I see a lot of uh, wish fulfillment, new beginning. There's a lot of uh, knowledge here. You two will be growing a lot together. Um, I feel like it's your spiritual has to do with your spirit spiritual strength. Your growth, your knowledge, you you awaken to more. You awaken to more things about yourselves. You have revealed more things about your journey together when you come into union. I see here that you will openly express what you feel about um, feel about commitment. You two will have a good conversation about what commitment means to you, what would what you feel um you two um did not work on in the past that I feel like Divine Feminine learned a lot about what what didn't work in the past and will express that to the masculine. Masculine will be willing to hear things out. I feel like they're open to hearing things out now.
there's going to be a lot of work being put in for you to, to make things work this time around. Either one or the other at the, in the past did not have the strength to really stand up for the connection, but it's showing that things have changed. Like now you two will be standing by each other's side, no matter what takes place. And I feel like no matter what people say, you two will remain strong. Once you two decide to come into full union, meaning that you accept, once you decide to accept whoever this feminine is, um, you two will really stand up for each other. Again, it's free will, right? But here is showing that if Divine Feminine chooses to accept the offer from Divine Masculine, that you two will really stand up for each other. There's something that might be hidden here from the past. Um, Divine Masculine, I feel like he may know some things. But he doesn't feel like it is important to express it, especially in time of reunion. I feel like he's like, we already overcome a lot. And there's no point in me trying to bring up this part of the past. But whatever it is, um, I feel like it's something that is big. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea for him to do that because I feel like he's doing it because he's thinking, why bring up that major thing that happened when I'm finally getting into union with Divine Feminine and things are sounding good and looking good, but it's something important, I feel. So um, that thing, if he does express it somehow uh it may be a it may draw the divine feminine back a bit but by not expressing it uh up ahead it could be a huge um it could be bigger than what it could have been like if if he says it now when he connects with divine feminine it won't be as big but by withholding that information it will be even bigger than what it is so but Whatever it is, it seems like it's very important that he needs to share it. Yeah, he's hiding something here. I feel like this Divine Femme is going to really, um, because his intentions to reconnect, to have union is good. Like he wants reunion. He wants to have a commitment with Divine Feminine. But it's just this one thing that um, it looks like he is hiding or withholding from Divine Feminine in this reading. It has to do with the past. But he thinks that by saying it, it's just going to like, why be... Why be like, um, it's like somebody having such a beautiful moment, right? A beautiful, happy moment together. And why would you just drop this, this information in the middle of this beautiful, lovely moment? Like you're having a beautiful candlelight dinner and it's like, by the way, this, this, and this It's like, what? <laughs> like you don't want to be the party pooper you know <laughs> like the bearer of bad news right so that's what I feel that's why he's not saying it because if everything goes smoothly everything goes well like why would I want to be why would I want to bring anything of the past that can really um make this happy moment not so good but by withholding that information it's showing here that it will creep up in some sort of way um it is huge it's like you need to see it now before it just starts to grow 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 yeah that's what i see here but whoever this masculine is he does have good intentions he wants a new beginning he i feel like this divine feminine is will be standing up very strong for this connection but by not knowing what this thing is it's just going to be a little bit more complicated i feel 
masculine, whoever you are, like, say it. Say it now. It's just going to... You want to prevent that that thing from just growing, right? Take take good care of your connection now before things get a little bit rocky in the future. Yeah. And he's coming really well prepared with the proposal here. I see like a solid offer, like a ring or something. I feel it's a ring. Before you start anew, it's good to have a clear slate, masculine. It's good to, you know, say what you really feel before. Because I feel like this masculine, whatever he's holding back, it's just going to make things a little bit like Divine Feminine will be like, why didn't you tell me this? Why didn't you sh say something or or hint or share something? Even if you don't want to say, tell the whole story. At least give me some idea of what this is. I feel like Divine Feminine is not really, um, in this reading, not really worried about knowing all of the information. It's just like, why didn't you just at least mention something? Why didn't you just say something rather than nothing at all? So this is the reading for today. Um, if you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.